What do records, running, and birthdays have in common? Birthdays, records, and runs today, uh, they all revolve around me. (laughs) (laughs) Today I'm running 33 and a third miles because it's my 33 and a third birthday and records spin at 33 and a third revolutions per minute. So I'm gonna be running on three different terrains to visit three different record stores with my only goal of making it to all three before they close. The last record store is my hometown record store, Sonic Boom and Ballard, and that closes at seven. We'll see if I can make it. Speaking of like 33 and a third, I, we might have talked about this before, but like the 33 and a third book series. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, I love those books. Like Iggy Pop was like about it. You know, he would get in your face, he would crowd surf, he would yell. And Lou Reed would like smoke and like ash a cigarette on your head. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And David Bowie's like, I'm kind of androgynous and maybe I'm from space. Talking to the, the Lyft driver about like how British the Beatles were in that get back footage where they're like writing all this amazing music and they're like, well, we should stop for tea then, shall we? You know? And he was like, yeah, I guess I'm not familiar with England, but like they drink tea there, huh? And I was like, yeah. So we've gone 5.73 miles. My left foot feels a little weird and I'm like, uh, but I think I'll be all right. And my left knee feels a little bit weird, but I feel a little bit weird a lot. So I think it's okay. I think this has been pretty fun and I'm testing out some shoes. I like the idea of like three shoes, three record shops, three terrains, three, 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 three. Something that I learned with climbing, they say, trust the shoes, trust the shoes. I feel like for running, it's pretty similar. So we're trusting the shoes, trusting the foam. Five and a half more miles to go, and then we get to record store one. Super stoked. Have you ever seen a bear by the post? I think that's a thing, postal bears. It's a cool view of the city. It's Thomas's favorite view. I live just over the water, somewhere over there. 11-1. Leg one down. How's that knee and that foot? Yeah, it feels a lot better now. Um, I think we were able to change up pace a little bit, change up the like dynamic of how I was striking. So I feel pretty good. I feel like I might be able to do two more legs, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh. oh, shit, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, no, Brayden. <laughs> okay. It's actually yeah, I know. swelling it's, it's up. Swelling a little bit. <laughs> 22 miles for it to feel better. <laughs> so. Let's get some music. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab some records. Super soaked on that. <laughs> Leg one down, 11 miles down. And this is the first record store that was recommended to me when I moved up here. I remember the first time I came in here. I mean, I was floored. The folks here have been so nice. So for this to be my first stop, really exciting. And this whole idea of like, Three and the numerology of three um, is very inspired by Jack White. Um, So if there's anything Jack White related that I don't have yet, I'll probably grab that. There's a few records that recently came out that I would really love to grab. St. Vincent's, Daddy's Home, and then a few post-punk records that I'm really excited to see if they have in store. So yeah, cool. This is one of my favorite records. Usually I try to look for like the uh, staff picks. Do you have something really interesting that came through recently that you'd recommend? Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm into the Marvelettes. Yeah, yeah, cool. Record one? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked on that. This record I love. I love the artwork on this record. I'll do this thing where like, I'll grab a bunch of stuff and be like, all right, what do I really need? How much money should I really be spending on this stuff? Does your experience of these finals change with your sunglasses on? Oh, that's pretty good. So I always forget I have them on, um, and then I'm that guy. I just finished listening to Elvis Costello's audiobook. I mean, the man is a genius. Look at that. He's got a cigarette in his hand. He's got his shirt kind of open. I mean, it's just awesome. And they're like, but they got ties on. Everything about this just screams cool. It screams a little bit of pretension, but I'm okay with it. I mean, the thing about Patti Smith's Horses is it's one of those records where it's like, well, why don't I have that yet? You do know that you're going to two more record stores, right? <laughs> oh, so cool. Look at those pants. All right. Coyote Trail closed ahead. Those hours are 
the current hours. <laughs> um, oh, no. So I've been to this uh, trail system in the trail system once, and I knew that there was like these signs that I dig that kind of tell you like what trail you're on. That clearly seems like maybe an MP3 player that's wired headphones. And the horse has an eye, but none of the people have eyes. <laughs> Wanna get geared up? Yeah, let's go get geared up. So I am packing some dried fruit, a uh, honey singer waffle, and the applesauce, of course. <laughs> Portalette with shoes. Got some backup shoes. Leg two, I figure that my legs will probably still feel okay. Mostly I'm dealing with like mentally. I think it'll just be interesting, but these shoes um, are the new Speed Goats. They're meant as like a cushy, longer distance shoe. So this shoe should be perfect for this. Cool, cool, cool. All right, leg two, follow the signs. It is motivating to be on trail. There's something really special about that connection and like seeing all the trees and even being a little cold is kind of comforting. <laughs> so it looks like this is the fork in the loop. We'll do about a lap and a half of this and then come down to this middle area. Cool. I believe the silver platters is the silver platters that Carrie Brownstein from Sleater Kinney and um, Portlandia used to shop at. So if I can find any Riot Girl records, and specifically any Slater Kenny records that I don't have yet, I would love to find something there. How's your shin? Shin is feeling good. Yeah. So the shin has recovered. Yeah, I think we're all good on the Did shin. You hear that, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about like these front country trails is that like there's nowhere to pee. What? Well, there are, but like you gotta lots of uh, you gotta get hold out a mile to the bathroom. I think I started this run being a little optimistic and cautious, and uh, so far it's paid off. I'll have a little bit more of a padded time slot to get there by seven for the last record store, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. All right, dude. 16. See you at the end. Halfway through this crazy thing, couldn't have asked for a better place to find motivation. Stoke level is high. Got a little bit of a tweaked left ankle kind of being careful on how I land on it. I switched uh, out of the speed goats to my trusty horns. My left ankle's feeling a lot better, so I made the platform a little bit shorter. It's not as cushioned, and they feel a little bit more broken in. The bottoms of my feet feel more impact, obviously, but my ankle feels a lot more stable. Glad I made that switch. It just dawned on me that I still got probably about another half marathon to go. Gotta remember to take it slow. Listen to my body, have fun. T minus 20 minutes till the next record store, so I'm stoked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do some quick math. What pace we have to keep to get to the last record store? I think we'll be okay. I know by the end of the day, I'm wondering, have you ever picked up that many vinyl? in one Yeah, day. that's a good question. <laughs> I mean, I usually don't do like a big buy at once. But this is like, I only turned 33 into 30 months. <laughs> so. One of my favorite things about looking at my record collection is like looking at it, remembering what events like surrounding when I got that record. There's all these stories tied to not only the artistry and the music, but like my experience of buying that record. And what a cool story that I'll have like a couple of these records and we'll all be centered around today. So I'm pretty stoked on that. This is rad. The idea of gunfighter ballads and like also love that it says long play. My mom, you know, when she was growing up in Nicaragua and she was like listening to records, she doesn't even call them records, she says long plays. So she says, Ijo, would you stop listening to the long plays? You have to flip them over every time. Why don't you just play the digital version, you know? Special edition colored vinyl. And it's made in Germany. I gotta get this, I think. This was the record store, I think, that Carrie Brownstein came to right before she was in Sleater Kinney, so I should probably look for some Riot Girl stuff that's heavy on my mind. Remastered from the original tapes, that's cool. Killer picture on Sub Pop. This is rad, I love this. So here's some Jack White stuff. It's got three on it, three everywhere. And this might be a sign. This I was thinking, I don't know what it is. It's cool, it was $4. Five records seems pretty good. And we still got one more record store to go. I'll put these three back and I think I'll take these five. Cool. Thanks so much, yeah. Thank you, yeah. So now I'm super stoked. Got, you know, 11 more miles to go. So far, 41,000 steps. Feel like I'm doing okay today. <laughs> Under my left foot is feeling a little bit sore. 
but that's okay. I'll put on a pretty cushioned shoe right now. And these recovery sandals are helping quite a bit. So, you know. Big fan. Yeah, big fan. Like three, all right. Talk me to sleep, boom, 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 rapidy dap. <laughs> right. Still got waffle, fresh applesauce, switched out the blocks for some salted blocks. Cool. Yeah, the story of how my body feels less and less weird. It's my favorite place to run in the city. So I'm really looking forward to this last leg and the last record store. I think I'm ready to go. Leg three. I was gonna say it's like nice to start with fresh legs, but not really start with the fresh legs. <laughs> Usually, like when I get to that point, I have two miles under my belt, not 22 miles under my belt. <laughs> What's your total moving time? Right now, I'm at 338. Shit, that's it? Yeah. It's the thing sometimes I think like I start off with passion, and probably because mentally I don't prepare to push myself. When I come out and do something a little faster, I'm excited about it. Oh, dude, low tide. Get to run on the sand. Stoked about that. That's where we were this morning. Oh, hell All yeah. the way over there, West Seattle. It's the fun part. Fast feet. Love this, dude. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, dude. This is my course today. <laughs> Crazy. Get out of here, dude. It's phenomenal. It's like immediate serenity. Wild. This is like otherworldly and instills reflection. Look at this, that family walking by. Like, it's just cool, man. Oh, and there's Baker. You can barely see Baker, but it's cool. You can see it. And I love too, like the serenity of this side versus the windiness of this side. Like whenever you cross over to this side, it's so cool. Oh man, so good. So motivating, inspiring, it's euphoric. Part of me like, likes playing this game, how close I can get to the water, you know? You jump in, you jump out. We're going just past where all those boats are. That's the Golden Gardens Marina. We'll kind of go past that a little bit. We'll climb that hill. I think the tide's low enough where we can get all the way just to the start of the climb. See how slow I can run up hills. Crazy stairs. I love crazy stairs. How many miles are you? 26. About to run a marathon. Yeah. 26.2. Marathon. I'll be fair marathon. Nice. Back in the elevation at the end. Feeling good, feeling motivated. Super grateful that we got through, um, you know, the elevation and discovery. I'm surprised that I was able to run up those stairs, if you can call that running, but you know, I got up those stairs, which was nice. A little bit dreading the Sunset Hill climb, <laughs> but I think uh, otherwise, I love every part that's coming up. So I'm really, really excited to finish this way. Nice. All right. See you yeah, Bye. see y'all. Tell myself, it's five more miles. And my legs are like, five more miles. <laughs> Got about a mile till Sunset Hill, but feeling good that when I get to the top of Sunset Hill, probably be at about 31. Leaves me with 2.3 miles left to go after that. All downhill. All downhill. I owe 30 at the pier. <laughs> and if there's left, top box in. <clears throat> Favorite flavor? Salt of watermelon. Salt of watermelon. Rocky music in my head for sure. That's the hardest part of that climb. 31! Woo. Yeah, final God smiling down on us. So, we were at that lighthouse over there. So yeah, it looks like I'm at 3175. And my legs are feeling like probably squeeze in a few more miles. So stoked to get to Sonic Boom. And looks like we'll probably have a little bit of time before the close. Cool. Mentally, I think I'm in good spirits, but my legs are certainly getting excited to finish. <laughs> 32, 1.33 left. I feel pretty fortunate to be able to do stuff like this and feel good that my body's up for the challenge. You know, like one of those like, you just won the world, dude. What are you gonna do next? <laughs> In order of importance, it'll be records, pie, pizza. <laughs> yeah. and I'm feeling really motivated to do some more training after this. And I think uh, 
gonna see how 50 miler feels. I'm not gonna wait till I'm 50. No. <laughs> yeah. 33. 33.11. Wonder how many hours my watch would tell me to chill for. Yeah. 3.30. 3.31. Three, three, three! Woo! Oh man, that is awesome. Five hours and 24 minutes. That feels good. It's a crazy idea. Crazy idea coming to fruition, you know? Record store three, 33 and third. I literally just got 33 and a record yeah. of 33. I just got that. That was the whole point. <laughs> I, I'm like, ah, he likes records. I don't know. That's cool. Whoa. Epitome of cool. Post Velvet's return to rock. I almost can't stand the term rock. It makes me cringe. I can't. <laughs> can't do it. I might put it back just because of that. Like, what does that even mean, rock? A rock band? Ugh. Angel Olsen's All Mirrors. This is the Peel Sessions one that I don't have. And this whole 33 and a third. Been talking about it all day. I know. Kill Em All by Metallica. Killer picture in the back. This is Mitski, Moral Hell. Really good. My Life in the Bush of Ghosts. This record, I just imagined myself at my turntable and looking at my stereo and just turning it up and just standing in front of the speakers, like waiting for the sound to hit me, you know? I mean, if there was one artist in my life that I heard that I like thought like, oh, everything I knew about music was wrong, it is Nick Cave. <laughs> Crazy. This is like the record that I thought is the most New York sound I've heard in a long time. And the inspiration behind it all, 33 and a third, put out on Third Man. There's that three there. This is the reason I did this, you know? It's the six records. So five at the last record store. I think the record store before that probably, I think maybe it was four. So is it four, five, six? Am I that much into numerology? I don't know. I'll put these back and then we'll go grab these. Cool. So I set myself up to run this challenge on my 33 and a third birthday. I wanted to run 33 and a third miles to buy some 33 and a third records, go to three different record stores, try at least three different pairs of shoes and go to three different terrains and different trail systems and routes. While there were some highs and lows, have absolutely no regrets, feel super accomplished, and I get to walk away with some killer records. <laughs>